Hello friends, Sarah Deacon, the adulting coach here, coming at you from my car today. I want to know, how was your Thanksgiving? Did you do like I did and um, eat way too much and sit on your butt all weekend long so that you basically had to force yourself to take a walk this morning in 20 degree weather just so that you could feel like you're not a total um, lump? <laughs> pile of, you know, blobby blobbiness. Um, well, maybe, maybe it was just me then. Anyway, trying to get back to normal. And I, I like that the sun is at least trying to peek out today. And that's why I'm getting out of the house. I am going to go work from the coffee shop after running a couple errands today. And I want to just, I want to just say the quiet part out loud for a second, because who else is sitting with some mixed feelings about the holidays. Yes, there's gratitude. Yes, there's joy. Yes, there's fun. Yes, there's Christmas lights and parties and all the fun things, which I'm totally down for. And I'm really looking forward to because I'm craving the connection with people right now because I'm fighting an instinct to withdraw and turn inward and not engage and give in to... Uh, the seasonal depression that I have fought for many years. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But I really think it's important that we acknowledge those feelings of like loneliness and grief. In my case, my parents and my husband's parents, so all my kids' grandparents, they live in Florida now. My brother goes to, and his family, they go down to Florida to visit, um, to visit our parents over Thanksgiving. They don't come back for Christmas. Uh, we don't even have a family thing where we Zoom anymore because my, my other sister lives in Minnesota. So we are pretty much on our own. My husband's an only child. He has step siblings and they have their own families and, and things that they do. So we are essentially on our own and it is a big burden to make the holidays something special when there's not really other people coming in and celebrating with you, where it feels like it is just kind of another day at home around the house. So there's pressure to make it special and no matter what it seems like we choose to do, it's still just, it's like, okay, yay, we get to stay in our pajamas and play more video games, which is like every day off of school ever. Um, so yeah, th that's something that I ha have been feeling just kind of sad about because I really love spending time with people. I love being around my family, even though sometimes they don't get me and that's okay. Um, yeah, I just, and I don't know necessarily how to create something else a different kind of gathering or anything like that. So I just want to hold space today for that, that balance of wanting to do something fun, create the magic, do awesome things and spend time with people. And also that pull of grief, loneliness and sadness that it happens this time of year. Um, you know, whatever you might be dealing with it, it's real and I think it's important that we actually talk about it because you're not the only one who who's feeling that and it doesn't mean that you're not grateful or joyful or happy or blessed or all of any of the things it just means that you're human and life is a rich experience of a lot of different feelings and sometimes all at once so if you are feeling that way today or did over the weekend or are kind of looking at those kind of feelings coming up Christmas season, I'm with you. Like you're not alone. So feel free to connect with me and, uh, and share and I'll see you tomorrow.